Hi guys, so to finish off my week of painting orcs, I'm going to do a little kit bash this time rather than print something out. I'm actually taking part in an Easter kit bash with the Lizard of Doom. So I'll leave a link down below guys so you can go and check his out. And the only requirements with this was to take a Warhammer miniature on a 32mm base uh, and make it an Easter bunny. And that was it. So it seemed fairly simple at the time. So I'd have a little bit of a thought about what I was going to make first. Um, and you say, yeah, this sort of figure... He seemed quite cool and had a good pose to him for what I had in mind. Obviously, he comes on a bit of a bigger base, so we're going to get rid of that base and, well, get a 32mm one, as I want to stick to within the rules. So I'm going to pretty much build this guy sort of as is. It's only a few parts to him anyway. And then once I've assembled some of him, yeah, that's when I can start doing a bit of cutting and chopping and, well, messing about, really. So first things first, obviously, yeah, cut things off sprues. Um, yeah, it's always it's been a while since I've done this kind of thing. As I must admit, I do use my 3D printer quite a lot. But then again, that kind of makes sense. If you're going to spend that kind of money on a printer, yeah, you want to use it and get your most out of it. And I say, for obviously miniatures, well, there's so many miniatures you can find online. Yeah, whatever you can look for or want, you can pretty much get, uh, yeah. My mini factory is obviously one of my main places I go to, as well as Thingiverse. So for this, yeah, I say it was fun actually cutting something off the sprue. Obviously, the only problem with this, though, is you do have to sort of clean and tidy the bits up a little bit. Which is obviously one of the great things about 3D printers. Yeah, other than a few supports. Uh, but if they're done correctly, then you won't notice anything. So, yeah, there is no real cleaning up like I'm doing here. Where, yeah, just getting off little burrs, little um, join lines, and any areas that, well, this miniature was connected to the sprue. So, yeah, they just need sort of slicing off, maybe a bit of filing, depending on how bad they are. And then it's simply a case of gluing the bits together. I say, obviously, there wasn't that many parts, sort of parts to this one anyway. So, yeah, it didn't take long at all just to sort of stick the bits together. I um, say, so in my head, I had a rough idea of kind of what I wanted and where I was going. And, say, the pose that I wanted. Um, and, yeah, I just loved the sort of the look of this chap. Obviously, nice and big, beef, chunky. Um, but, yeah, but he's got his foot up. Which, say, I, in my mind, I had, his, had him with his foot up on an Easter egg. So that's kind of why, yeah, this miniature seemed pretty cool. So yeah, just mention as well, guys, all the miniatures I do sort of buy and get, they all come from Chaos Cards. Uh, there's a link down below. I've got a discount code down there as well. And you use that and obviously, yeah, get a discount on some of your miniatures. So yeah, go click on the link and check them out. So yeah, loving how to say this guy, yeah, nice and beefy. A uh, yeah, couple of big old weapons, even though, well, I'm going to kind of cut the weapons away. Because, yeah, they, I don't really want them for what I'm doing. So, the base. Yeah, the base that comes with him. Um, yeah, 50 mil. And so, I don't want to cheat. So, I'm going to squeeze him down on a 32 mil base. So, a bit of a difference there. But, uh, yeah, I kind of manage it. Even though, well, as you'll see from the thumbnail, it's a little bit overhanging. So, he's got a lovely weapon here. But, well, I don't want the weapon. Um, I say, I wasn't too sure what to do originally. At first, I was going to try and turn something into like an Easter bunny. Um, but then I thought, nah, it'd be more funnier if I get a good old orc and he's, well, he's holding on to an Easter bunny and about to, well, blow his brains out, I guess. So this plastic is quite easy to cut. And as you can see, with the snips, it's easy to cut. And using the blade, just to go around and try and clean any other areas up. Being careful not to cut myself, um, as that is something... I have done in the past. Um, yeah, obviously with any kind of blade, you're meant to be sort of face the blade away from you and cut away from yourself. Unfortunately though, sometimes when you hold a miniature or something that you're going to be cutting, trimming, etc. Um, yeah, it's kind of easier <laughs> to hold it with a blade going towards you. And that's kind of where the accidents happen. So obviously you guys take care. Um, yeah, generally if you can, <laughs> cut away from yourself. <laughs> well, I probably should have waited until uh, this dude's arm had fully set as well because as, as I'm doing this his arm keeps almost coming out of uh, of this socket but hey ho a little bit of perseverance and I say taking it careful not to uh, hurt myself or to cut off too much and there's his hand nice and ready to well say hold on to a bunny which I, I do obviously kind of 3d print as well it's easier to 3d print something rather than to try and find a little miniature of well a bunny now it's just time to change his other arm. Um, as you can see, obviously a huge big weapon. Uh, probably too big. So I'm going to cut him off sort of below the elbow. 
Um, I don't want to use this bit of the arm, obviously, because it's, well, it was his original arm. Um, but then I'm going to find another arm with a smaller gun to sort of fit in the gap. Um, just going to say, I think it'd just be funny, this dude holding up a bunny for, well, kind of like ransom. So at first, I was going to kind of use the arm that I just chopped off. But I say, the gun, yeah, it was kind of too big. And for me to try and chop that up would have just been a bit messy. Um, so yeah, rather than doing that, yeah, I was looking for another sort of weapon, another gun. Um, and another arm as well, just to try and get an arm that would fit. So as you can see, yeah, two different guns, two different arms. One's definitely bigger than the other, so we'll uh, we'll go with a bigger one. And I also need to do a little bit of cutting on his stomach there, just because it was protruding out a bit far. Um, yeah, so I need to make room for the gun. So yeah, did a bit more chopping up. So the arm that was originally with the gun didn't seem right, well, for connecting onto his arm. So I took another arm, <laughs> cut that up, so yeah, he's definitely uh, Frankenstein's monster as he's made up of a few, well, a few arm bits and hand bits there. But uh, yeah, the end result obviously came out well. And this is where obviously a bit of green stuff, just to fill in gaps, always works a treat. And it is fun making miniatures or taking the miniatures and sort of changing their pose. Because um, then you really are obviously making them more, well, whatever you want them to be. So that's looking about good. Now it's just time to print off a few little bits. So I printed off a bunny, which I found on Thingiverse. Uh, just typed in bunny. Uh, and I printed off this egg, just because obviously I wanted an egg. And yeah, this one, um, I love the little decoration on it, because it makes it easy then when it comes to painting it. I can just paint the uh, the little squares there. So I've also got him some little bunny ears as well, um, just to make it look like he, he is kind of in the festive mood, uh, even though he is about to shoot a bunny. Um, well, I'm guessing for more teeth is what he uh, wants in exchange. So yeah, giving him a good old, uh, good old bunny ears as well. Just makes him a little bit, uh, a little bit softer looking, <laughs> and more fun because well, orcs are uh, just that. They are a lot of fun. So with the bunnies, I kind of like printed him without the ears, just because I wanted the ears to well be protruding through the guy's hands. So obviously he's got super long ears, as they are well and truly uh, kind of stretched. So with the ears, um, yeah, tricky little things. Uh, obviously, because I printed them separately as well, they are teeny tiny. Um, and yeah, this bit was a bit fiddly, because obviously you try and hold them in place, but then you kind of end up with your fingers getting glued. And as soon as you move your fingers away, well, everything sort of comes away with it. But like everything, yeah, perseverance, taking your time, um, yeah, you get there in the end. So now the bunny's in place, yeah, I can put his hand back on, just because obviously I want it to be positioned so it is pointing right at the little uh, little dude's head um, and yeah so sorry poor bunny but I promise no rabbits were harmed in the making of this video so yeah we got the uh, the big egg there in position but his foot does seem to sort of stick up a little bit at the end so we'll change that as well in just a second so base wise yeah I love using this sand stuff it's really simple really quick really easy uh, but very effective for well very simple basing Generally, I use PVA glue, unless I'm in a rush like now, and then, yeah, chuck on some good old super glue. But it's only a small base as well, so it doesn't take up a lot of the glue to get him, uh, yeah, fully based. And, yeah, that's as simple as I like it when it comes to bases. If I was doing a diorama, then, yeah, I would do a bit more for the, sort of the base. Uh, but, yeah, for this chap, yeah, let's keep it simple. And there we go, the kit bash bit is done. Now on to the painting, and starting with the uh, priming with a good old matte black and I've been using the Color Forge now for well I don't know six months eight months maybe a year uh, love this stuff as you can see yeah lives up to its name it is matte black um, well I'm gonna be trying out a lot more different sort of primer colors just see how they sort of look uh, and react and how well they, they go with a good old slap chop method so yeah he's uh, he's already there he's been dry brushed in white and ready for some paints and again, sticking with the old GSW dipping inks, just because, well, I love these things now. And we'll paint him, well, super fast. Because as we know, yeah, it's slap chop painting. It's fun, easy, and fast. So we get our little, uh, our little miniatures, tabletop ready. Although obviously this dude isn't going to be played in anything. Uh, well, not by me anyway. But again, yeah, guys, don't forget, uh, I do have an eBay account where I will be selling sort of miniatures um, and some bits and pieces that I, well, use on this channel so there's a link down below go check that out um as you never know when i'm selling stuff <laughs> anyway blatant plug there um yeah go buy my stuff 
so it frees up room so I can make and build more stuff. Uh, love it. So yeah, this dude. Um, yeah, really pleased with how he came out. I say the, the brief for this sort of uh, collaboration, very simple. Uh, sometimes that's good and sometimes it's not. Um, when the brief is simple, it means your brain can just run riot and go nuts. Um, yeah, sometimes I do like a more detailed brief because then you do have a lot more, well, a lot more strictness and things to sort of like comply with, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I must. Admit, I do love the old collaboration. Lizard of Doom and generally yeah, makes me make see something. What, uh, see what he's come normally. Up with and obviously have a making. great uh, Easter weekend, um, so guys. Yeah, uh, well, whatever you're doing, this little thing. Hopefully you so got guys, some don't time to go off. And check out as here in the UK. Yeah, it's a bank holiday Friday and a bank holiday Monday. Uh, not that, that makes any difference to me because obviously I kind of work for myself. So I, well, I say work. I'm here painting, making things, playing with things, trying out laser engravers, trying out 3D printers and loving it. So yeah, it's not really work. It is definitely more fun. Um, and yeah, so in part, that's a big sort of thank you to all you guys for watching my videos, sharing my videos, obviously leaving comments. Um, yeah, and liking and obviously subscribing. So cheers to all of you guys. Just to mention guys, I am, <laughs> what I'm about to say, I have said in the past, but hopefully I'll be able to keep to it this time. I'm gonna try and get into a regular pattern of releasing videos. Um, over the last sort of month or two, I've been doing a video every couple of days. Um, and whilst this has been a lot of fun, obviously it does take a little bit of a toll on me because I kind of get in the mindset that I then need to do a video every couple of days. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be doing a video every Monday. Um, so that's gonna be my main sort of release day. It will be on Monday. Um, and I'm looking at three o'clock sort of UK time. Um, as that seems to be a, a time when there's, well, there's quite a lot of people on. So yeah, guys, every Monday, 3 p.m. I will be releasing a video. Uh, but then there will be other videos sort of here and there maybe. Um, but yeah, I wanna try and get into a pattern of definitely on a Monday and then yeah see what there is happening on any other days and then we get guys yeah let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to see me make or do um, so I do obviously have the eBay account where I do sell my miniatures um, I do often well, not say often I occasionally um, get requests to print or paint certain miniatures so yeah if there's anything you want to see me print and paint by all means let me know or any armies as in like kill teams you want to see me paint um, yeah let me know basically guys let me know what you want to see me paint um, so a lot of the stuff I paint it's for well some games and bits I'm playing um, I do obviously do a lot of work with sort of kickstarters which I absolutely love because it means I'm very lucky then because I get STLs of well whatever it is that's in the kickstarter early so yeah I always feel quite excited that I get something before other people um, and obviously get to print, paint uh, and possibly play with all the things as well. So yeah, look out for them kind of things. But yeah, anything you want to see me try. So definitely sort of different techniques as well as I do love trying new things out. And I say I will be using some um, some different colour primers. Um, at the moment obviously everything gets primed in black uh, then dry brush whites and then painted. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to try a sort of uh, little experiment and do like maybe one miniature, prime them in, I don't know, four different colours and then paint them just to see how the colours sort of look, well, on top of other colours. Does that all make sense? I hope so. Sometimes I start waffling and even I kind of lose track of what I'm doing. Anyway, back to the bunny because we're not too far off now. Um, I say simple paint job, but that's kind of how I like it. I do things like things simple and easy and, well, fun. Um, as I say, I do do this full time, but it is still fun for me. Uh, this is never going to be a job for me. I'm never going to do this um, and then like feel like I have to make videos. As I say, I'm making videos every couple of days, but that's kind of because, well, I want to, um, not because I have to. So yeah, for me, this will never be a job. I'm always going to have fun with it. And that's the main thing I always say about this, this kind of hobby. If you're not having fun, um, then you're possibly doing something a little bit wrong or maybe taking it too seriously um, and doubting what you're doing. So yeah, have fun with it. If things go well, awesome. If they don't, well, we sort of live with it and maybe we learn from our mistakes and then hopefully uh, improve on the next sort of thing we do or make. So that's this guy pretty much done. Just gonna uh, do the rim of his base black. 
Um, and yeah, let's have a little look at this guy, well, in all his glory. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it fun. And uh, I say, have a great Easter weekend. Don't eat too many chocolates. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. There's another video on the screen, guys. Give that a click and see more of what I do. Don't forget to check out all the links down below to everything I kind of use. Um, as, yeah, some of our affiliate links. And again, you buying stuff through it certainly helps me out. Okay, guys, you'll take care. See you in the next one. Bye for now.